We're rolling? Alright, basic principles of Turtle. Of course, he wants to start defending and closing up as much as possible to minimise my ability to attack him. What I need to look for straight away is the width of his base and whether there are there is space for me to start getting my arms or my legs inside. So let's look at a couple of different ways of doing it. There's a million and one ways, but these work reasonably well. So let's say that I find myself on the side here, toes pointed straight ahead, knees off the ground if you wanted to drive a lot of pressure. This here is going to allow me to feel if his base is stable. So if I feel that his base is narrow here, and he, bring, bring it next a bit closer. If I can feel that he's a bit off balance here, I've got two choices. I'm going to tilt him towards this back foot or this back foot. If I try to tilt Jesse over his knee, he's quite stable most of the time. If he gives me a bit of resistance here and I'm over his knee, there's no way I'm going to be able to bring him with me. This is why I want to put my knee just behind his foot and I want to drag him over his foot. Instead of dragging him straight to the side, I drag him in the direction of his foot, cupping his hip and his shoulder, Boom. and then I can start taking him back. Good morning, Mark. I can do the same if I wanted to, going in this direction where I put pressure on him, I can trap his foot here and I can start driving him over that foot. If I do that I need to make sure that I'm collapsing his frames straight away so he can't throw me or continue to regard but that is an option as well. So that is if the base is narrow. If the base is really wide it's futile even to try that. So that's when I need to start seeking options to open up space to get my hooks in. One very easy way of doing that is using my hand to walk his face in line with his ear over in this direction. Because when I start manipulating his neck, the rest of his body is going to follow. But most of the time, he's going to start resisting a lot. So it's going to be hard for me to do that just with an arm. So I'm going to put my hand next to his face. I'm going to put my knee behind my elbow. And I'm just going to start walking my hand and my foot up in this direction. Now you'll see the space for me to just slide this knee inside. Here. And I'm sliding my knee in the direction of his back in this position here. From here now there's many different ways for me to start taking the back. If I start crawling this hand across, this is now a threat. I can, if I want to, grab the ankle here, start turning in this direction to take this back or he's most likely going to start defending so I can step up, spin and start coming the other direction as well if I wanted to. The main thing I'm trying to share with you here now is simply what to look for and exploring options what, if the base is wide or if the base is narrow and they're really closing up as to how to get your hands and your legs inside. Now one thing here if Jesse's doing this to me, the common mistake is that they reach this far arm, in, far arm inside. Here, if I'm fast, I can tuck my elbow to make sure that he doesn't get the arm out. Or if I'm even faster, right. here, if he's just holding like so, I'm going to grab his arm. I'm going to post up on my arm and I'm going to sit through. Throwing him in this direction and then moving in to side control. So just be aware that if you're attacking turtle, it can be quite dangerous to get that far arm deep inside without having anything else going on.